And here we are, Cape Spear, Newfoundland. It's as far east as you're going to get. Next stop, England. See the banks of fog over there. That's Signal Hill, where the fog is. This here is down on the beach in a little place called Freshwater. And this spot here is Spout Cove. It's on the path down towards my house. And this is out in Adams Cove, my hometown where I grew up. I've crawled out over all of these rocks. And on a lot rougher days than it is today as well. Trying to get a shot at a few ducks. I got washed off that one out there once. Actually, I believe I've got a picture up of the wave that uh, came in over me. Say what you, say what you want about Regina and Saskatchewan. Jeez, this wind is cold. Some lovely wa? I just pulled into my driveway up to the house in Adams Cove. This is mom and dad's house where I grew up. And look here in the backyard. Look at Mr. Rabbit. I can tell you they weren't around like that when I lived here. So this here is a, it's an actual sword that was used in the war. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it other than I got off my uncle in England. And uh, it's a pretty nice sword. But if you see here, it says P.O.B. Molen Sons, Birmingham, maker to the War and in India offices. And I don't know what that means, but that's one of the swords we've got anyways. And here's another sword, uh, same story. I got it from my uh, uncle in England and apparently this sword was um, I don't know some high-ranking someone or other who owned it and again I don't know much about it 
but it's sheathed and again a lot of engraving that I don't know what it means but it was someone apparently very important who owned it from what I, I was told when I got it This here is my uh, Berther or LaBelle or Chantelero or whatever name you choose to use. Um, it's an amazing shape. The action on it is as smooth as smooth can be. Um, yeah, my pop brought this one back in a backpack when he came back from the war. I believe it says uh, 1892 Chantal A97444 whatever that means. And this is my uh, side by side 16 gauge. She hasn't gotten much use lately. She sits here in Newfoundland waiting for the birds to come back. And when they do, once again we'll go after them with the 16 double gauge. Or double barrel rather. This is a. Uh, my old H&R topper backyard bunny buster amazingly it has uh, some pretty nice wood for a topper but this one has knocked down quite a few birds let me tell you Now for anyone who don't know what these are, they're Codler Royal Barrels. You turn them upside down and you fill them up with cod liver and the oil runs out through those top taps. And that there is a press that you use for pressing the salt fish down into the barrels. So you'd have a barrel of fish. And that's how they used to ship it overseas. And now uh, my grandparents used to ship it over to uh, Jamaica everywhere. They shipped their cod liver oil and fish. But as you can see now, they're nothing more than garden ornaments. It's a day long gone.